Oh my god, it's so hot, I'm already sweating. Oh my god. Ah. Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you all a tutorial on this lovely eye look that I've got going on right here. This is a first impressions kind of tutorial sort of video using the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Palette. I haven't used anything from this particular brand before. I know it is owned by a YouTuber uh, whose name is Kristen Dominique, hence the uh, Dominique. Yeah. So, um, I'm, I was, <laughs> I already used it. But if you want to see how this per if you want to see how this palette performs and my final thoughts on this palette as well as how to achieve this beautiful eye look, make sure to keep on watching. Also don't forget to give this video Also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like what you see so far. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications by clicking that little notification bell down below. And yeah, I'll stop talking. And actually, that's a lie. I'm not going to stop talking. Haha. <laughs> I ordered something else off the internet. Surprise, surprise. This is Halo Beauty. It just showed up when I was in the middle of filming, so I figured I would talk to you guys a little bit about what this is. But if you want to see what's in this box, then you have to stay tuned to the end of the video. So, yeah, let's get on into the tutorial. Yay! Also, look at my little dog. He's so cute. Oh. Anyways, tutorial time! Yay! So I'm starting off by priming my eyes today using the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finished Eyeshadow Primer and smoothing that all over my lid. So I'm setting that eyeshadow primer using the shade Nude Tea and then just sweeping that all over my lid to my brow bone to make sure that everything is all matte and prepared for my transition shade which is the shade mango and I'm taking that on a nice fluffy blending brush in my crease and bringing it out into a wing shape in my outer corner and pretty high up to my close to my brow and to deepen up my crease I'm going in with the shade sweet tea on the same brush but focusing that more in my crease and not blending it up as high or winging it out as far in my outer corner as I did with the previous shade, Mango. So I did build this shade up quite a bit to get it to be fairly smoky and you might have to go over the edges with the shade at Mango just because it was a little bit tricky to blend out to the degree that I wanted it. And then I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk and creating a half cut crease on the inner third of my lid. And then I'll be taking the shade Blueberry Fizz and patting that on top. Before adding the shade Blueberry Fizz, I did pat out the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk using my fingertip. I tried with a brush and it wasn't going as I wanted it to, so using your finger definitely is the way to go. I just used a brush in the more fine slash harder to reach areas and then I go in with the shade Blueberry Fizz. I did take the shade Lemonade, Lemonade on my inner corner to try to brighten it up a bit since Blueberry Fizz is a little bit dark, but I didn't end up liking how this turned out, so skip this step if you are recreating this look. 
And then just softening any harsh edges using the blending brush that I use to apply the colors into my crease. And then I'm going into the Milani Everyday Eyes Palette. This is the most neutral one. And I'm taking the darkest bronzy shimmer shade and placing that as a transition between Blueberry Fizz and the warmer matte shades that we applied in the crease earlier. And I'm just using a MAC Synthetic Flat brush and my finger to do this so that it is nicely blended and not really noticeable just enough to soften any harsh line and then I'm gonna do a winged liner using the L'Oreal lacquer liner in the shade black I'm trying to do this on camera as much as possible but it is a fairly difficult task and I'm but I'm aiming for a pretty thin wing I'm just gonna go off camera and apply some false lashes. I'm not sure what style these ones are because they were just chilling on my makeup table. I also applied my base off camera because that gets boring and repetitive if I do it too often. Now I'm just finishing off my lower lash line using the same chai tea shade from the lemonade palette on a slightly smaller blending brush and making sure to connect it to the winged outness of the same shadow from earlier. And earlier when I said the shade Chai Tea, I actually meant the shade Sweet Tea because I'm now taking the shade Chai Tea on a very tiny little detail brush and smoking that very closely to my lower lash line. And then I'm just taking the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in the shade Gamma Ray and putting that on my lower inner corner area. And I just wanted to apologize for the really weird audio during this part of the tutorial. I'm having some technical difficulties, but I hope that I will be able to sort it out. Anyway, here is me doing some glamour model shots with the finished look. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Um, I really liked this palette a lot. I was really surprised because I impulse bought this palette um actually after I had my orientation at, at college um I went to Sephora after and I just saw this palette and I just bought it <laughs> usually if I impulse buy something it's not actually an impulse buy it's something that I've been wanting for a while it's just the timing that I buy it is an impulse but this I hadn't like watched any videos on or anything I just saw it and I was like oh my god I need that <laughs> So I bought it and then I got home and I went on the Sephora website and I looked at it and this palette has like a really low rating on Sephora so at first I was like oh my god did I just like waste $55 or whatever on this palette that sucks. So then I went on YouTube and I watched a couple videos and a YouTuber that I really love uh, Tati Westbrook she said that this palette is amazing so I'm like obviously I trust her opinion so I tested it out today and I really like it especially the shade blueberry fizz that I have on my inner third of my lid it's so pretty and the mattes blended really well I just wish that there was like a lighter shimmery shade that I could use to highlight my brow bone and inner corner I think that would have been good but still I really like this palette so I don't know why it has a low rating on Sephora okay and then this box the other thing that just came in the mail, when I was in the middle of filming, the FedEx guy rang the doorbell and I was like, oh my god. So yeah, this is Halo Beauty. Ooh, This is a company owned by Tati Westbrook, the YouTuber I just mentioned. Um, she owns this brand and it's not makeup, it's actually um, like skincare supplements. So I, the only thing I've done so far is take the tape off this box so we can just open it on the flap. Here it says Great Skin Starts Now, and then you open it, and this is what it looks like when you get it. 
I got the Halo Beauty Kiwi Seed Booster, which it's supposed to give you clear, glowing skin, and it's supposed to minimize fine lines and wrinkles, support collagen and keratin production, and supports a clear and radiant complexion. And that sounds really appealing to me because I want a clear and radiant complexion. So yeah, I bought this on the day that it launched actually. You're supposed to take, oh uh, yeah, here for best results, take one capsule daily. I'll take this for 30 days, the next 30 days, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. That is this video. I hope you guys like this look. I hope you like me and my makeup skills. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click the little notification bell down below so you get notified every time I upload a video, which is on Thursdays. Yes, I put out new videos on Thursdays. In case you didn't know that, you should watch all of my videos and I will tell you that I make new videos on Thursdays. So yeah, if you want to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel and thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your support so much. That's it, I guess. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all next Thursday back on my channel for another video. Bye, guys. I didn't even turn on my ring light for all the talking I just did. Oh, yeah, I got my ears pierced again. Woo, number three. It took my mom a week and a half to notice. I don't know what eyelashes I'm wearing. They weren't even in the box. I'm so hot right now, I can't even function. I have to go take a nap or something. God.